Hey, today is still November 19, 2011. Yes, it's mad random. Mad, mad random. Hi. I was actually looking at a television broadcast today about prisoners. Coincidentally, I've known a lot of people who has been in jail. And I know a lot of people who are in jail now who's going to be there for a couple of years over either hurting somebody or killing somebody or robbery. Which is kind of sad. But people always say, oh, your friends are basically a reflection of who you are. People you hang out with. I don't really believe that 100% because I'm not in jail. Well, probably that is kind of true because I think God helped me stay out of jail. <laughs> I think if it wasn't for him, I would probably be in there myself. Probably doing something stupid. And you know, after I'm in there, I'm like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> and then it's too late. Um, but I'm sorry for the parents who have lost their children to the penitentiary. And it's just hard, but if you have done the crime, you must pay your time. What? I don't know. Sorry. Anyway, off that. Oh, yeah. Another thing I saw on the show was I forgot what the name of it was, but they went to several different jail settings and saw how inmates actually made weapons out of like simple things like toothbrushes, handles, and all the other good stuff. But yeah, not the point. So, um,. A random thought I always have, like people always ask me, like, if you don't know, you must know now, I'm a theater head, like, not really just theater, but when people just say theater, I get, I get kind of annoyed by that. Um, I sing, act, and dance too, so I'm, I love to perform. I just love, like, when I'm, like, doing this, even though I'm not getting paid for it, it just gives me joy. Just to hear, like, just to see somebody is watching, I can see the viewers. It might not be a lot right now, but hopefully it'll be like a bigger like outlet of people. But I really love to perform. It's not about the money, even though I want to make a profit off it because I'm not going to have a regular job like a cook or a doctor or a lawyer. Everybody, I don't think, is made. I don't think. I know not everybody is made to do certain things. You are blessed with certain talents and certain brain I'm not saying I'm not smart. I can do the work if I wanted to, but I really don't care that much about school work. It sounds sad. It sounds dumb. But um, the thing I love to do is perform. I love to act. I like to sing out the dance. I like to make people laugh. I just like to do dumb stuff. And if I can be dumb and you laugh at me, I've done my job. But also, a lot of people have known that um, a lot of witches, especially in the city, they are actors and actresses and they just haven't got their break yet because what one of my teachers told me, he's with my um actually I'm a teacher, boss, whatever. He told me that one thing you have to have time but you have to have luck. But I believe if you work hard and have like a lot of pre perseverance and all that other stuff that you can make and I think that if you really wanna do modeling, dancing, acting, just different things, you should do that because you like it. Don't make your family don't make your friends talk you into doing I'm not saying school's not good because yes, I think you should have your education. I think you're not should not read, read write, spell, do math. Because you could be up there on the top of the world and if you can't count your money, people can steal right under your nose and you don't even realize because you can't add two plus two. And if you don't know, two plus two is four. So, yes. I just think I just love to do the job. I just it's just so it's crazy. It's just the idea of you practicing so long and it finally somebody gets to appreciate your work by looking at it and clapping after. Man, about the clap. It's just, it's fun. My life is, is kind of boring right now. I'm just in school, chilling. I can't wait to leave. I'm just going to kind of drop out. Yeah, I kind of either. I'm dropping out of school. Um, But not the point. I'll still have my associate's degree, so don't think that, oh, yeah, she just went through school and she's dropped. I'm going to have my associate's degree officially by next year. So right now, technically I'm in school for a bachelor's right now, but I'm going to have my associates when I visit. Don't ask me. I'm not explaining myself. It's just too much words to explain. But um, I don't think it's wrong for you to go to school. I think if your job that you're going to do, 
my whole thing is that you should do something you love. Not because, like, certain firms are very strict about, like, my, like, doing nursing, being a doctor, being a teacher. I think if you like to count money or do something like that, be an accountant. If you like to act, be an actress. Yes, people say you have a backup plan because one thing in life I've seen, life is way too short. I know people... I know a friend who, like, from high school, I went to school with him. Actually, my my friend, Asani, his best friend. And, well, he's my best friend in high school, so that's the point. And he actually died, I believe, in 2007. And we got really 2006. So, basically, he was, like, 18, 19 years old, and he died. That's kind of crazy. Like, you can't think that a person your age is dying. And he haven't got to live life yet and haven't got to do this and haven't got to do, not to do that. And it's just like, it's so sad that you can go through life and you haven't really enjoyed it. And you have people, I'm not saying that if you're on this certain age and living in your parents' house and you're not cook, like, helping with food and that, you shouldn't have a say. At that point, if you're in your parents' house, I don't think that you should have like that much say unless you're like really giving, putting money aside and paying, paying, paying rent and all that other stuff. But I think that if you, in your education-wise, what you do to make you happy because the thing that you pick is going to determine what you do for the rest of your life, basically. I'm not saying some people don't, like 30 years old, 40 years old, don't change their occupation, but people like that usually started out with something they didn't like and changed as they got older. And I don't want you, whoever is watching, to pick something because somebody else wanted it for you. You should pick something because you loved it, because you wanted it. And that's just my whole thing with acting. People might say, oh, it's a waste of time. What's your plan B? My plan B is acting. A plan, like my plan C is singing, and my plan D is to do all of them. So, if anything, I'm gonna have a job no matter what because I love to do it. And it's like I tell God every night, which is kind of sad. I was like, if I'm not gonna do that, you might as well just kill me now. Cause I'm really saved. So I think my life is pretty much. I'm not saying it over because you're always here for a reason. But all I have is singing, dancing, and acting. And church is number like church is number one. God is number one regardless of like not even being said. He's number one above all things. But if I'm not doing those things to make me happy, I don't think what's the point of loving. That's my whole thing. Like people might just say, Oh, I wanna be Beyonce, I wanna be Jay Z, I wanna be who is another person Frank Sinatra or just anybody, Sean Paul, I'm trying to get different people out there from different kind of genres and who is successful in their work. And I just want to be like them because they have money. Honestly, if you listen to some of them, like especially people who are like younger, like Michael. Michael, he didn't, he didn't like the fame all that because it's like it robbed him of his childhood. Honestly, I wish I could trade, but whatever. People who usually are in the starlight, like when they're younger, when they get older, like I wish I didn't have that. And people who get like the fame older, like who don't, don't have the fame yet, say, oh, I wish that was me. But you don't understand. It's just like you have to just do something that you love. And if you like to pick your nose, pick it the best way you can pick it. If you love to read, read all the books that you can put your hands on. If you like to sing, sing. Because hopefully you have some talent. I'm just, just, just basically what I'm saying. Like, you shouldn't, because people are saying to me all the time, like, get your education, get your ed education. Like, I don't see how I'm going to use it. Like, honestly, because right now I'm not learning anything about what's helping me in that profession. Even though I'm a theater major. I just feel like I'm wasting my time. I feel like I could do so much other things out there. Yeah, money is great. Let's just perform the joy of performance. The, the joy of being somebody who's not you for that moment. I like more film work because film work is more progressive or like TV. The seasons, they get you see the character grow. You see how the character can make the different decisions in different atmospheres and different times in their lives. But a theater like you... Learn your words, and you put on a certain performance, and you put it on over and over. It get kind of boring, and kind of stale. And with theater, I think theater is real acting. I'm not saying TV and stuff is not real acting, because you can cut it and make it into something that you can you like to see. But theater is more about if you really got talent, because if the audience can see if you're acting a mess, because they see you acting a mess. But when you're on film, yeah, they might say that you can't act, but you can cut out the parts what are bad and put it out there. So that's my whole thing with that. But I really like, I really love to perform. It just, it's a joy to me. So I was little, I've been doing it. And it's just like, when I was younger, I used to tell them, I'm being nervous because, because I think I'm one of the make her happy, not knowing when I was younger, like really like small, that anything that I do 
she'll be happy with it. She's like, all my performances, she comes to it. She drives my brother. He wouldn't want to be there, but he comes out. He has no choice. But now he is. He's like 15 years old. And it's just like, that's what I want to do. That's what makes me happy. So, any child, anybody, any adult, any anything, adults think they can't learn from younger people. But I think you can. I don't think I know you can. I just want you to do something that you love. Something that makes you happy. Something that makes you, you. Because some people do things and then not, what they do is not like, you can't really see them in that, but he's like, you really do that? Yeah, I really do that. But people who really know me know like that she does that because that's how her personality is. That's how she is. It's just, I'm a data idiot. So it's like, whatever. I'm down with it. I might seem shy to people at times. When you don't know me, but I'm really not. So, I'm just putting out there. My random thought for right now is do what makes you happy. As long as it's not illegal or hurting anybody, do what makes you happy. So, bye. And hope you enjoy my shizzle right here now. I know it's not as like dumb and retarded like the other stuff that I've done, but I hope you learned something from this. So, bye.